Black Party U.S., live in front of the office of Seth Williams, District Attorney of Philadelphia, who we do not want to be our district attorney. Next year is an election year for the district attorney, and we want Seth Williams to vacate this office. We want this sign right here to be scraped off, and we want somebody else's name to be atop of the city of office of district attorney for multiple reasons. Here's the first reason. Just recently, the Center for Returning Citizens assisted the New York Innocence Project in a landmark case of Anthony Wright. Anthony Wright is a young man who 25 years ago was accused of the brutal rape and murder of Miss Louise Tally of Nice Street in North Philadelphia, several blocks from our office. He did not do this crime. He was coerced. A false confession was written by two Philadelphia police officers. His entire case was fabricated. This was under the administration of then Abrahams, who has been called the deadliest DA in the United States. She was the predecessor of Seth Williams. Seven years ago, the Innocence Project brought to this office a request for the case to be reopened and DNA evidence to be re-examined. It took over five years for that request to be done. During those five years, Anthony Wright remained in prison. Three years ago, when DNA evidence exonerated him, he should have been released. Instead, the Seth Williams-led DA office refused to release him and instead retried him. Last week, a jury of his peers unanimously said that he was not guilty on all counts. That is the reality. This should have been done three years ago. This office and Seth Williams blocked that, took it to trial, cost the taxpayers serious funds, and more importantly, delayed the freedom of an innocent man for three years. That's one reason that Seth Williams should not be district attorney. When the evidence is clearly before him, his office ignores that. He came to this office promising a new day, promising that the legacy of Lynn continued her legacy. He is Lynn Abrahams in blackface, and we need to get him out of this office. Next, quite recently, it came to light that $160,000 in gifts given to Seth Williams had not been reported. Several years ago, he was in the forefront of prosecuting beloved black politicians in this city for a total of $3,500 in gifts. This is the Seth Williams that we have as our DA, while at the same time, he was accepting gifts under the table and not acknowledging it. He has now been forced to publicly apologize. We don't need a man like that in office. We need a new DA in the city of Philadelphia. Last but not least, for there's many things he's done, the case of the juvenile life. The Supreme Court has mandated in Miller versus Louisiana that juvenile lifers in this country must be resentenced and given a chance to come back to society. The Seth Williams office is offering 35 years to life on parole as their agreement for juvenile lifers coming home. These are men and women who were incarcerated at the age of 14, 15, 16, 17, who have been in jail for 30, 40, 50, and in the case of Joe Legon, 63 years. Here's a man who was incarcerated at the age of 15 years old during the administration of President Eisenhower in 1953. He's been locked up 63 years. This office wants this man to be on parole for the rest of his life. If Joe Legon can't get immediate release and immediate parole, who can? 
We need people in the city of Philadelphia to realize who Seth Williams is, to realize that he must be cast out of office. Next year, 2017, we vote for the new district attorney of the city of Philadelphia. We cannot support Seth Williams. Candidates must come forward who are qualified, who believe in truth, who believe in justice, who when faced with the case of men and women who are clearly innocent, must say, past administrations made a mistake and we're gonna rectify that mistake. That's the kind of DA that we need. We need everyone who views this video to go to theblockparty.us, T-H-E-B-L-O-C-P-A-R-T-Y dot U-S. Go to our website, sign on as a Black Party member. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you are a Democrat, Republican, Independent, Green Party, Socialist, if you're gonna vote in a general election, we want you to register to vote, look at our party platform, one of our mandates is to end Seth Williams' reign as a district attorney of the city of Philadelphia. Go to our website. Talk to your friends and neighbors. Go online. Google his recent antics. Last week, his girlfriend was accused of slashing the tires of, of two city-owned vehicles. This is a man who cannot even control his own personal relationships and his personal life. How is he qualified to run the city? How is he qualified to stand in judgment and decide who gets tried? What are the plea bargains? How, how is this office going to run the criminal justice system in the city of Philadelphia? If you believe in justice, if you believe that juvenile lifers should be allowed to come home, to transition as the Supreme Court said, if you believe in the Supreme Court and the Constitution, you can't believe in Seth Williams. In the reign of Seth Williams. He needs to find a new job. He's a lawyer, somebody will hire him, but we don't want him to work here. Right here in this building, we want him to take down his desk, clear out his desk, take the photos off the wall. Every trace of his reign needs to be eradicated in the reign of Seth Williams. This is the Block Party US. Go to our website, go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Follow us, become a member of the Block Party. If you truly want change in the city of Philadelphia, become a member of the Block Party. And one of the first steps is aligning yourself against Seth Williams.